Here we are entering the passion of our Lord. And on this Palm Sunday, we always hear the, the entire passion. And during this time, we may feel very distant from him. We may feel a lot of pain. And we should participate in his suffering in some way. But we're never alone. We're human beings. And we're social beings. We should be together. We all have our guardian angels. We have all the saints that are always with us. And during this Holy Week, I encourage you, as traditionally we hear the Passion several times from the various Gospels, from the four Gospels. And even in the New Mass, we hear the, the Passion of our Lord today on Palm Sunday, and we hear the Passion of our Lord on Good Friday. So if you pray the Stations of the Cross during this week, as you meditate upon the Passion of our Lord, and also as you pray the Rosary every day, especially praying the Sorrowful Mysteries. Something I encourage you to do, especially with the Stations of the Cross, is to focus on the third, fourth, and fifth station. The third station is where Jesus falls the first time. And who is there after he falls? In the fourth station is his mother. In the fifth station, we have Simon of Cyrene that comes to help Jesus. I don't think it's a coincidence that Simon shows up after the Virgin Mary consoles her son. She is with us always in this time that we feel separated from our Lord. She's there to console us and help us carry our own crosses, whether they're a fear of death, fear of finances, fear of isolation, whatever it is. The Virgin Mary is our mother to comfort us. This is not the end of the story of Jesus or us, this passion. Behind me, you can see the word nika in Greek, which means victory. We have this week of passion. Enter into it prayerfully and trust in the victory that is our Lord.